Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Snookus, and this is another episode of Heart of Iron 4 uh, Kaiserreich mod. And let's just start off here. Uh, we are pretty much waiting for anything to happen. Um, I'm having a good time as it is anyway, because of all the flavor and the events and um, everything. Just the game, playing the game, it's pretty fun. I haven't played it in a while, except for the other campaign we're doing in Spain. But uh, yeah, uh, Austria is making significant gains here, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this turns out. I would not like to see Austria take all of the Italian Federation, but because we want something to take as well, and we want to be able to back up the Italian um, Socialist uh, Republic, they're called, I think. Yeah, the, the Socialist Republic of Italy. Um, hopefully, uh, since it seems like, well, Hungary is fighting a, fighting a two. Uh, front war as well, but it seemed to be winning against Romania. So, okay, I was gonna take a second and uh, finish talking, and then I'm gonna focus on this. Uh, since Hungary is pretty much winning against Romania, hopefully they can win soon and then push into Austria, and then we don't have to worry about Austria uh, bordering us. Okay, so Carl is Spain, which is, I believe, yeah, they are fascists essentially. Uh, they are fighting. They are declared. They have declared war on. Um, the conservative, um, which are also monarchist um, kingdom of Spain. So that's interesting. And that's pretty much since the Social Democrats wasn't, wasn't voted into power, I guess. Uh, Franco didn't seize, seize the opportunity to do anything and so on and so forth. And I am um, i shouldn't speak uh, before, I guess. Seems like the Radical Socialists, um, the CNT FIA, which weren't the leading faction in the historical civil war, but one of the leading factions, have decided to declare war on these as well. Hopefully we get the chance to support them, which, because we would really like to do that. Okay, apparently the Carlist won by default, and now we're gonna fight against the... the syndicalists. The Spanish Civil War. Ever since the defeat of Napoleon, Spain has been plagued by violence, the sand and turmoil, but it appears that the free tensions have reached a breaking point, that is, the Spanish kingdom has been ripped apart in a three-sided civil war between numerous factions. The loyalists of the Madrid, gov Madrid government, the supporters of the pretender Javier, Javier and finally the anarcho-syndicalist party known as CNT-FIA, they weren't a party, they were just a trade union. Um, there are already numerous supports of volunteers and equipment being shipped to Spain from all over the world to support one faction or another one faction or the other, or blah, blah, blah. it can be safely said that the fields and mountains of Spain will be the first battlefield of a much wider conflict between the left and the right. Another proxy war, that is. Okay, so that is interesting. It's What is more interesting is that um, CNT FAA actually managed to secure Madrid, which they did in the real civil war as well. Oh, nice. As the Philippines have peacefully achieved independence from the United States due to the chaotic civil war, I could imagine. Uh, their young Commonwealth is already facing the dangers of syndicalism, inspired by both. Hey, it's not dangerous, it's inspiring, great and stuff. Inspired by both the combined syndicates uprising in America and by the Bayreati commune in, in India, a group of disgruntled army officers have ordered their units to march toward our capital, where they have joined forces with bands of peasants and industrial workers. They are planning to establish a socialist republic on the Philippines archipelago. Um, have they done that or... Okay, shit. Alright. Uh, I just wanna see where... Where the socialists rise up here in the Philippines. They don't seem to be doing it anywhere. Are they? Okay, maybe it hasn't happened yet. Um, Spain is collapsing into anarchy, and the CNT FAA is our brothers in the supporting cause of the working class. We should send aid at once. Indeed, we should. Um, Diary of a Country Priest, the newest book of George Espinanos. Um, okay, so. Okay, so you can read this if you want to. Um, it's not super. Important. Um, all right, so um, Travelier Delquette Leon Bloom has um, called us for showing solidarity with Spain, which we should, I agree. 
hopefully we get the opportunity too. Um, let's see here, Chief of Navy, Chief of Air Force, no, let's... Uh, infinite Division attack seems, um, seems good. Alright, uh, can we invite you or something? We can't, I think. Well, let's um, send some equipment then. Now let's give them 30% uh, of our production. I imagine they're gonna need it. And hopefully we can force a win here. Uh, let's see here. The land lease is... Um, I wanna see it fulfilled. It's gonna be fulfilled easily. Good, alright. Well... Um, Hopefully, um, we get a chance to he help out. Um, we're, we're gonna want to do this as well. To increase our uh, factory output. Alright, the syndicalists are taking some ground here. In, uh, and hopefully they can reach each other in time before the Carlists can um, surround them entirely. Right, it's nice to see uh, things heating up a bit. Austria is still heading into uh, Italy, but they don't seem to have that much of a speed here. The rise of the Mongol Empire. Um, okay, so uh, <laughs> the Mongol Empire has decided to be a proper Mon Mongol Empire. Holy shit! Alright, it's their opinion. I thought for a second they were allied or something, or for a second I thought all of that was the Mongol Empire. I do kind of want to play as the Mongol Empire sometime now. It's kind of... <laughs> it's kind of... Um, intriguing and... Um, the first Sparkadier uh, opening ceremony was held in London, attended by dignitaries and at least from around the socialist world. The British team carried the torch to front the French team the hammer and the other teams carried the pieces of the cog to the location where they where where they were to be assembled. When placed together they formed the international symbol of syndicalism. What a glorious day for the working man. Alright, that's cool I guess, an alternative um, Olympics. I guess since Hitler isn't alive and couldn't uh, create this thing with running the torch and everything, um, maybe the Olympics got boring and people stopped uh, attending and uh, wanted to attend a much cooler, uh, much cooler sports um, event, the socialist sport event, who knows. Okay, so they're gonna lose all their troops in Madrid, that's unfortunate. Hopefully they start, um, although I guess we only see the troops here, I would like to see them play some troops on the real front. Finally, the communal army is done. Thanks for that. That's not the one I wanted to do, was it? I wanted to do this one. Well, um, that's my fault. That's unfortunate. I wanted to take a piece out of uh, Switch and get some uh, factories. And liberated workers, of course. Need a good or bad. Alright, that's fine, I guess. So we do have some divisions ready if we were to take the step. Um, maybe not that. Into um, 
tanks. What kind of uh, symbol do we want for tanks? Um, do we have a tower symbol somewhere? Here, cool. like this. Seems uh, good, I think. We, it will have um, a nice balance between soft and hard. Which will be good when they charge. Um, we're mainly going to use these as... Right, we're, we're going to rename them as well, but... Um, Division... Do... Tonk. I don't know whether I have you how we spell that. Those things. Um, let's not add anything because we can't. We can't create this either. So I have no idea why I did this. Well, maybe until next time I can uh, search what the French name for tank is. Uh, all right. So let's get logistics company as well, which we're gonna wanna have um, as soon as we can use, utilize it. The CNT FAA, the syndicalists are making gains here in Spain. And look, um, the music got suddenly very loud here. Uh, hopefully, they can make some good progress. And uh, case the Kingdom of Spain still exists, they're also uh, exiled to uh, Africa. That's interesting. One thing I wanna do is um, in my save, sure. Make sure that our navy, uh, our marines, gets deployed as soon as they can, so that we can shore up this um, landing here. I think we can only have it's like six or nine units in the beginning, so we are gonna need to research. If we just take a second here, um, this one, but we can't do that until 1940, so it's gonna be a while. But um, eventually, we are going to do that. Principality of Albania. They are um, fascists. Alright. Well, what are we waiting for right now? We are waiting for the road of war to uh, finish so that we can move on to demanding. Demanding. I turned um, Australian for a second there. Um, demanding um, that part of Swage here. Um, which will. Which will make it really easy for us to uh, create this pocket here, which we've thought about. But since Italy is over here, they have all the forces on the Italian, on the Austrian front anyway, that won't uh, make that much of a difference as of now. Um, motorized. I think I saw. Um... Sure, that's good, I think. Um... Oh crap. I fucked this up. What symbol did I have from... Good. Uh, let's um, place them here. I have no idea what kind of event I just clicked, by the way. That's um, Attention. just me clicking out of frustration. Um... Sure, let's get that guy. Road to War is finished, so uh, that's good. Then let's take... Place them there, and... So now these guys are gonna cross and hopefully meet in the middle and... Create this pocket that we so desperately need. And... Uh, hopefully gonna make it easier for us to take Belgium. Okay, now let's... Um, how are our deficit looking? You know what? We still have some time before all out break a war, although I don't know in this reality when that happens. Although I imagine it's gonna take a couple of years. So let's uh, get a couple of military factories 
just on the go there, so that we do that, so that we have um, a bit more um, production, so we can work away at that ship away at that deficit before the war begin. We don't want to be in a, especially not uh, with infantry equipment. We don't want to be in a deficit before the war breaks out. Um, because that's pretty much gonna secure our failure. It's really nice to see the CNT FAA win this. Um, hopefully it's do somewhat to uh, uh, to our um, land lease with them. For some reason that has ended. Is there a reason for that or...? Um... Let's only send them 10% this time. Let's also improve our relations. Holy shit, they're making progress. Nice. Hopefully they can win this and then we get... Well, one less um, front there, I guess. Portugal is um, democratic, pretty much neutral, I suppose, if you were to talk um, on the vanilla, in the vanilla game terms. The United Baltic Ducky here. They are also um, kind of fascist, I guess. Alright, so now we're waiting for uh, military build-up, and then we're gonna claim Swage, and after we've done that, then we're gonna claim um, the Rhinelands. Hopefully gonna... No, actually not in the Rhinelands, if I remember, but Elsass... Uh, let's just check it out. Um, Alsace Lorraine. But before we do this, we wanna do this. Um, yeah. We wanna do this, and then we're gonna go this way. Cool, the CNA, CNT FAA won. A bit awkward seeing that um, this abbreviation here. Uh, it would be nice to see the whole name, or like syndicalist, uh, syndicalist Spain or something. Would also be nice to be able to invite them, but maybe we can do that eventually. Anyway, they won't attack us, which is the big deal. The big thing there. And we are we are um, improving relations with them, just to make sure that they don't uh, flip on us. Right, so uh, how's it going here? here um, Austria is at war with Montenegro. Galicia, Lod Lodomeria, and and they have some oh and Italy of course and I guess now since Romania took all of Hungary for some reason and um, they can't reach Galicia Lodomesia um, they're pretty much gonna focus on Italy which is not great for us because we wanted to um, take a piece out of Italy or restore the Italian nation I guess well, um, you can't have everything, I guess. That's uh, bad for us, anyway. Well, uh, since nothing is happening anyway, let's cut it here and uh, end the episode, and then I'll see you next time. Please leave a like if you like what you see, and if you want to see more of this. Uh, it helps a lot, and it's a great support for me and my channel. Uh, consider subscribing, and um, yeah, be a great person today. Have a nice day, and I hope you'll see you next time. Bye.